Welcome back everybody, my name is Pratash here with Kaizen Crypto bringing you guys another video. So I hope you guys are all doing well and that you're having a great day. What we're going to be taking a look at here is how to use the Ledger Nano with the Yoroi wallet for Cardano. So let's jump right into it. All right, everyone, thank you so much for watching. If you guys do find some value from this content here today, be sure to smash that like button for me. It definitely lets me know that you guys enjoyed it and that you did find some value. If you're new to the channel and if you wanna stay updated with content like this, be sure to hit that subscribe button and you can click that notification bell also so you can get notified when I post a new video. So as far as what we're taking a look at here today, I wanna to show you kind of a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to use the Ledger Nano hardware wallet with Yoroi. So if you're interested in using a hardware wallet, if you hold Cardano, uh, this is a good option for you. And if you wanted to get started, this is gonna be for you. So first things first, what we're gonna look at here is the Ledger Live application for um, the Ledger Nano S or the Ledger Nano X. Right now I've got my Ledger Nano X connected to my computer. So when we open up Ledger Live, there's gonna be a menu tab here. So we've got all these options here on the left-hand side. Let me make this bigger, there we go. So this manager tab right here, this is gonna be the section in the app that we're gonna to need to open. And what we're gonna search for is the Cardano application. So I'm gonna search for Cardano, yep, here we are. And we're just gonna go ahead and click on install. This is gonna install the application on your wallet. Um, one thing to keep in mind, I'm using a Ledger Nano X. If you do have a Ledger Nano S, I believe that there is a bit less capacity there for applications, so you might have to do a little bit of rearranging, but the process is going to be very similar. Uh, and then once we've installed the application, you'll see the nice check right here showing that it's installed. So that's pretty much it. Very, very easy to install the application on the Ledger Nano. Uh, and then what we're going to do from here is we're going to take a look at the... Uh, Chrome Web App Store to be able to download your Roy. So let's go there. I'm going to use Google Chrome for the sake of this video tutorial. Uh, you guys can use whatever uh, web browser that you'd like to use. I do. Uh, I'm quite a big fan of the Brave browser, so if you want to use that, it's totally up to you. For the sake of this video, I'm just going to go to the Chrome Web Store here. This is going to show us all the browser extensions that we can search from. So I've searched for Yoroi, and this right here gives you the option to download it. So you just want to click on download, and then you'll see that pop up on your web browser as a extension. Next thing to do from there, just go ahead and click on it, and it's going to open up in a new tab. And then from here, we're just going to go through the process of setting up Yoroi. So it's going to give us the option to choose our language, and it's going to ask you to agree to the terms of use. Okay, now with this right here, do you want to enable Cardano payment URLs? This allows you to easily share invoices with friends and businesses by simply clicking a URL. So this is actually something that I would think is very useful to know how to do. Uh, I'll be actually creating future videos building on this tutorial. So if you guys wanna get content and information related to that, be sure to hit that subscribe button. That's gonna be coming in a future video. Uh, for what we're doing here, I'm just showing you how to set up the Ledger wallet. So we're gonna skip this for now. Um, let's do this here. We're just gonna do confirm, it's no problem. And then from here after the initial setup, it's gonna give you the option to either connect your hardware wallet, create a new wallet, or restore an existing wallet. So in this instance, what we're gonna do, we're gonna choose connect to hardware. And very cool, we can see Ledger Nano, we can see Trezor, we've got a Ledger Nano. And next, this is just showing you like all the basic requirements needed. Okay, and then it's saying we need to connect our wallet to our computer, check, click on connect. And then it's gonna bring us here where we're gonna give the option to choose what type of device that we have. In this instance, I'm using a Ledger Nano X. So I'm gonna select that option. If you do have a Ledger Nano S, it's gonna work the same way. You just wanna choose the device that you have. So let's choose Ledger Nano X. And on our Ledger Nano, we are gonna to need to open up the Cardano application. So whichever device you have, go ahead and search for the application and open up the Cardano app on your wallet. 
So we're just waiting on the wallet to connect. And then once you see the information on your screen, it's gonna ask you to export your um, public key. So you just wanna go ahead and confirm that by pressing both buttons. And then after you've successfully confirmed on your Ledger wallet, it's gonna ask you to name the wallet. So in this case, it's uh, default set to your Roy Ledger. Uh, you can name it whatever you'd like to do. And then you just wanna click on save. And that's pretty much it. So from here, you're gonna be able to see the available balance that you have in your wallet. This is gonna show you the transactions that were made using your account. From here, you can send ADA, you can receive ADA. So if you're familiar with the Euroit user interface, it's gonna be very similar. It's just that in this instance, you're able to store your ADA on the Ledger hardware wallet. Uh, very cool if you're interested in keeping your funds on a hardware wallet. I know that Euroy is actually going to be supporting staking once staking goes live after Shelly is released on mainnet. So look forward to a video talking about that here coming up in the near future. And uh, again, guys, I do hope that you enjoyed this video and that you did find some value. Please be sure to let me know any comments that you have down in the comment section below. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Take care.